I'm Dennis Bickmeyer. I'm the track president at Richmond International Raceway. Well, I'm Bonnie Murray. I'm an education specialist at NASA Langley Research Center. I'm Laura Kramer. I'm the manager of science conductors at the Science Museum of Virginia. We're having a lot of fun here in the Virginia 529 College Savings Kids Zone. A lot of great displays and exhibits for kids and parents really to come over and have some fun interacting. The race car is a science experiment on wheels. Everything involved from the engine to the wheels themselves to moving through the raceway, it is all one big science experiment. Today through the Science Museum of Virginia, they explore concepts like drag through experiencing of a paper airplane, trying to adjust the drag on the airplane to see how it flies. Another experiment is an exhibit called Speedways, um, determining where on a wheel your lug nut should go on the outside or the inside, what will give you a faster speed. And then another experiment is called the Quacker Smacker, using an air cannon, the force of air, to move objects. Air is a very big problem with speed and drag on a race car. There are a lot of technologies that are found in the racing industry that are actually spin-offs or came out of NASA research. For example, the driver's fire suits are very similar to space suits. That Nomex material is found in both suits. This is important to NASA because understanding the science of racing actually helps students understand the science of aerospace. So this would be like an airplane wing, right? Very few students have ridden in a plane, but they've ridden in a car. They've watched racing. They've watched how there's parts on the car that make the car stay down, and they're the same parts that lift the plane. This airfoil shape that creates lift is the same shape that is a spoiler and holds the car down. These cars have advanced so much, um, they're race cars. They're not just some stock that they had some minor modifications to it. When they come in from practice now, they're hooking up laptops to them and they're downloading a lot of telemetry and data. It's important to explore the science of racing because science affects us in our everyday lives and without science, you would not have racing. <laughs>